I hope you took a few minutes to work on this question, the angle side angle problem. Let's take a look at what the answer should be. So we want to start by finding the measure of angle B because that's the angle that's opposite the given side length and so before we can use the law of sines I need to figure out what that angle measure is. Well that's not hard to do because we're given the two other angles and I know that the three angles have to add up to 180 degrees so I can take the measures of those other two, add them together and subtract from 180 so I get 180 adding those other two together, it's 131 and so the unknown angle, angle B, is 49 degrees. And so then using the law of sines, I know that the 10 meters divided by sine of 49 degrees has to equal A divided by sine of 53. And I also know that the 10 meters divided by sine of 49, that ratio has to be the same as side C divided by sine of 78 degrees. And then with a calculator I can figure out what the values should be. So if I take this first problem, if I multiply sine of 53 with both sides, that solves the problem for A, solves the equation for A. So I get 10 times sine of 53 degrees divided by sine of 49 degrees, 10 times sine of 53 degrees divided by sine of 49 degrees. Again, it's, it's important to make sure your calculator is in fact in degrees, uh, and so we are in degree mode, and we see that the value for A should be approximately 10.582 meters. And in a similar way, we can find a value for C. For C, I want to multiply sine of 78 to the other side, and I get C equals 10 times sine of 78 degrees divided by sine of 49 degrees. And so 10 times sine of 78 degrees divided by sine of 49 degrees turns out to be about 12.961 meters. And so we've completed the problem by finding uh, the two unknown side lengths, the two unknown side lengths, and the unknown angle measure. So as I mentioned before, the, the third problem here is a little bit more complicated. Side-side angle uh, is a more complicated arrangement, and that will be discussed in a separate video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.